the mighty Fraser River is a gift to British Columbians as it is the birthplace of the Pacific salmon, among them the Chinook and the Sakai, as it plays a significant role in the lives of the First Nations. The Fraser River is also an important resource for the lower mainland British Columbia in Canada as a whole. However, as the number of salmon returning to this water dwindles, comes a threat to many other species who greatly rely on salmon, including humans, the people surrounding the Fraser River. Industrialization, urbanization, overfishing, logging, and climate change are the top threats to these precious waters. In 1995, Finn Donnelly, a passionate environmentalist, swam the Fraser River in response to these issues. After his 1,370 kilometers long journey, Finn's advocacy to raise awareness in protecting the Fraser River eventually led him to establish the Rivershed Society of British Columbia. Established in 1996, the Rivershed Society of British Columbia is a non-profit organization with staff, volunteers, and various programs, including the Sustainable Living Leadership Program, which sought to educate its participants through a 25-day long journey of the Fraser River from its headwaters to sea. Together with seven other participants from various parts of British Columbia, it is an eye-opening journey in which I took part in July 16 to August 9, 2015. Here is my story. And how could I say there is no God when all around creation calls a singing bird mighty tree the vast expanse of open
scents of a rose in bloom. A newborn's cry at birth. How could I say there is no God when all around creation calls a singing bird, a mighty tree, the vast expanse of open sea. this precious water. Through my journey, I have learned the importance of the Fraser River and have seen the need to protect and preserve its grandeur for generations to come. Its significant value to the First Nations symbolizes the substance of life as it had well provided their needs for centuries. The First Nations have truly connected with the earth and have long valued this special relationship with nature. Accordingly, how we value the Fraser River should be the same. While it provides a wide variety of economic use such as tourism, fishing, and transportation, we should also consider the effects of these activities. Although a huge part in protecting the Fraser River greatly depends on actions taken by the government, our own individual steps to conserve the environment will help the chains to begin. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, God said, Let us make man in our own image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. In view of that, God gave mankind dominion over the earth, but God never gave us the right to misuse it. The earth is a priceless gift for mankind to enjoy and to thrive in. It is our duty to work and keep it as what God commanded to Adam in the Garden of Eden. During my journey, I am reminded of how God loves humans as He manifested in the way He provided us our needs. Consequently, it is our responsibility to protect these resources, just like the mighty Fraser River. Oh.